uh, related to that uh, about Miller Repa mm. for the Kuan Yin method, Master. Mm. Um, if the person who did the uh, Kuan Yin initiation instructions mm. was not approved by Master, what would happen to him or her? Nothing happens. <laughs> no, this person did not do it on purpose, so it's okay. Yes. Later, the master knew anyway. Yes. And of course, he blamed the the mother. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. The holy mother. But then it's done. Yes. Then Milarepa continued to suffer for a while longer, until the master was ready to give. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was not his purpose. You understand? Yes. yes we understand the difference, mm -hmm. master. Yes, that's right. Uh, in the case of Milarepa, the master already approved that person who can give initiation. Yes. Uh, yes. So it wasn't that he just did it behind master's back. You see? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mm -hmm. So nothing happened to him. Mm. It's just he was instructed by the mother and due, due to respect he did that. Yes. Right, right. But normally he would tell the master who is going to be initiated. Yes. Right. Birthday and all that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, Normally, they would test them for a long time also before they reported to the master. Nowadays, we just give them three months vegan and read in some lectures so that they understand why they want initiation. That's all. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not as hard as the old times. Right. Well, for me, not, but maybe some other master would uh, give a hard time. <laughs> uh, if somebody just did it anyway, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a very terrible burden oh. for, for that person. Mm. Without the master's permission, you should not give initiation. At the time of initiation, we have told them to give it to themselves only, yeah? Yes, right. Yeah. But if you somehow just don't listen to that and went out of your way because of your ego, because of your low level, and give initiation to other people, then you harm both you, yourself and the initiated. Because your level is too low. Yes. Right. You claim yourself to be a master and you're not. Right. To give initiation, you have to be a master. Okay? Yes. Yes, master. Designated by God and told by God or angels to go do it. Yes, mm -hmm. master. Yeah, for sure all that. Or you rely on the master power by master's permission and instruction to do it because it's far away and it's more convenient for other people. In the old time, it's not like that. It's not that simple. In the old time, you remember the sixth patriarch, Hui Nang, he had to go all the way from Vietnam to China to find that master. Yes. Yeah, it's not like master sends somebody there to give initiation, like what I do nowadays. Yes. Yes, master. But in the old time, the master didn't give so generously to the large public like that. Mm -hmm. Because that will make the master suffer too much. That's why they didn't want to just give at random. Yes, yes master. So even then, the master of Hui Nang did not give him right away. Make him go to the back of the temple and thrust rice and collect wood and cook him for everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Until later, yeah. Still then, he tested everybody to see who is worthy of his uh, mantle of the successorship. And then later on, only Hui Nang got it because he understood he was enlightened mm, yes, in a higher level. And other people were just outside just talking, like uh, repeating or, or saying what's supposed to be right, but it's not from inside knowledge. Just like in Islam, the Prophet, peace be upon him, emphasized that Muslims should search for knowledge. Mm -hmm. But that is not only worldly knowledge, because it's mentioned in the Hadith that for the one that has knowledge, even the angels would lower their wings. Oh. oh, yeah, that is not worldly knowledge. Yes, yes master. master. Yeah, because the angels will not bow to any like uh, engineers or doctors because, <laughs> 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 or even a professor in the university. Right. Just because they have knowledge. Yes, yes master. master. You must be enlightened in order to understand all this. Otherwise, you just read the, the letters, then you won't know anything. Hmm. You just interpret just like a normal person. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to understand the Master unless you are one. 
Uh, right. Yes. Even if you're not one yet, but you are in a higher level, then you can understand certain things. Yes, a little bit of it. More than other ordinary unenlightened persons. Yes. Yes. And then you keep learning with the master, and you you know more by intellect, but not by your own experience. That's a different thing. Y- yes. Yeah. So, understand. Like a master is somebody who understood it inside already. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then whatever he she tells you, that is from his her own enlightened experience and knowledge, wisdom. Yes. yes, yes. It's not from books, because the book is just interpreting like a worldly knowledge. Worldly knowledge doesn't impress angels to the extent that they would lower their wings. <laughs> no. Then it's not logical, is it? No. You think an angel would lower the wings in front of all the professors and uh, even Einstein? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Unless Einstein was enlightened. Yes. Mm. He was. Okay, he oh. was somehow. Oh. He was practicing some meditation and yoga, but of course he didn't tell people because at that time, what for he would he tell people? Uh, mm, yes, right. It right. would just make him more trouble. Yes. yes. Otherwise, why was he vegetarian? Mm. Yes, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, 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 and why did he emphasize that people should not kill animals, people, and all that? That means he understood, okay, inside. He knows it. Mm-hmm. It's not just uh, for health purposes. Mm-hmm. He or um, others, you know, who are vegetarian and vegan at that time, they spoke from their own inner realization. Yes, uh, yes, yes. yes. Uh, not for health benefits. That's for sure the way they talked. Yes. yes. Say so as long as uh, humans still kill animals, then they will continue to have war with each other. Things like that. Yes, yes, we see. Uh, so that's not for health purposes. This is true enlightenment. Yes. All right. So why am I so far? Okay. So suppose somebody just went any, anyway and gave initiation behind the master's back. Uh-huh. Yes. And that person will be dragged to hell. Oh, oh, wow. Because he didn't reach the level of the master yet and went out all independent and didn't have permission. Right. Yes. Yes, yes. In this world, the rules are strict. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why even the master comes down. They have to humbly tell people and explain it again and again, patiently, yeah, humbly, and not to go out around and boasting, here I am a big shot in heaven, whatever. Maybe even say that, like Jesus say, I am my father's son. But it's not with the attitude of arrogance. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. And it's, it's not uh, what you say about yourself. It is your knowledge that you are that. And you tell the truth without arrogance. Right. Yes. Yeah, it happened. You know, it happened in my lifetime also. That somebody thinks that just recite the instruction. Yes. And uh, walking up and down like the master does, uh, touching people's heads. And that is about it. Mm. There are a vast treasure behind it. He did not learn. Yes. Mm. It's not just that. And even the one that the master assigned to give verbal initiation, instruction, he still does not know all that. Right. That's why he has to rely on the master power, to connect with the master power in order for the master to teach more. That's right. That's why any master who gives remote initiation by the invisible power, still it's better for that person to come to see, for example, if he stays in Shihu, yes. he has mm-hmm. to say, oh, I have to come to Shihu once in a lifetime. That's what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, instructed his representative to tell them like that. Uh, mm. So to reinforce the connection. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because the one that represents it, Master, that time had just been given the power just for that time only to give the initiation that day only. He doesn't have all the power of the Master. Yes. He cannot bear it. Uh, it will overload him. Mm. He cannot bear. I yes, understand. Master. Yeah, it will be harmful to him. Just like a small electric uh, wire, and you give it a very high voltage, it will explode. Yes. yes. And harm the whole household and destroy the appliances. Yes. Right. Cause a fire also or short circuit. So it is not a method. Just temporarily, in the worldly language, we have to say it's quantum method. But it is not the method that is the enlightening power. It is the master power. The master has to be very high level. 
in order to bear all the power from heavens in the physical body. Yes. Then can transmit and can rescue the people that he initiated. Other people cannot. Yes, yes master. Maybe even due to some leftover master power because that person has been initiated with the master and then he goes out, gives initiation to others. Maybe I have a little light or sound sometimes ah, now okay. and then, wow. but but that's it, a very low level. Mm. Oh, okay. It cannot go all the way up. Yes. And it will not go up, just stays there only, if ever. But mostly it's the Maya who tricks them. Oh. Because whoever does this, whoever goes now and gives initiation without master's permission and proclaims that he himself is the master, and doesn't know anything, just copies the master's teaching, copies the master's speech, copies the master's outside actions, copies the master's lecture, and proclaims it is his. Then this means this person has a super ego. Mm, yes. And this kind of ego will attract Maya. Yes. It's a kind of a leaking point so that the Maya can connect oh. or can enter your domain. Yes. yes. Then you have no protection. Oh. And you are even cut off from the master. Because your ego builds the wall around you. Right. Also, it's not honesty. Yes. You claim that you are master, but you're not. You don't have any power. So his own karma falls back on him. And he also takes on other people's karma by initiation. Then all of them go to hell. Oh. oh. There's no help. Yes. yes. It's disconnected. Yes, yes, yes. Just like electricity plugged out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And sometimes you have a little battery left, like your computer, right? Yes, yes. You plug out electricity, it still can work for a while, yeah? Yes. But without the internet, you cannot connect with anybody else. Right, yes. You're plugged out. And after a while, your computer is dead. Mm. No more battery left. Yes, yes, yes. Similar like that. If you are disconnected, you are nobody. And you are vulnerable to the Maya attack. Yes, mm -hmm. Then you will become their instrument. Oh. You will talk like low level. Yes. yes. Astral level. You talk in the human emotion only. You don't talk like an enlightened person. Even if you do, it's because you copy the master's lecture. Yes, mm -hmm. It's completely different. There are many things. That's why the master also, even if the representative the good master's disciple gives initiation. At least you go one time to see the master's area, master's house, the master's presence. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Muslim people keep going back to Mecca, at least once in their lifetime. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. But the master is not there anymore. Of course, you can go there because you want to pay respects to the ancient master, to the prophet. Or make peace upon him, or pay respect to Jerusalem because Jesus was there, for example, like that. But the master is not there anymore. Right. That's not the purpose of initiation. Yes. yes.